Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we'll see how to open our pump and sensor for GX8000 multi-gas detector, which are widely used on tanker ships and you will find this detector on tanker ships. Common problem with these detectors are that most of the time while taking measurement, pump sucks cargo or its vapor which degrades our pump performance and always give false reading alarm or pump fail alarm. To solve this issue, we must open this small pump carefully and clean all its diaphragm and small, small parts properly after dismantling it. This is your pump unit. Uh, slowly pull out the pump and disconnect uh, its connection. You have to do it very softly because these are very small parts. This is how your pump looks like. Uh, small DC motor is there and there will be a suction discharge connection. When you remove the pump unit from its place, this is how it looks, it, uh, it's a vacant place. This is the detail of the pump and when you remove the four screw which are there in the pump, this is how it looks from inside. There is small diaphragm, most of the time you will find dust are there, water presence is there. So clean with a tissue paper or a clean rags. So once you are clean, uh, fit it back and then we can proceed with our sensor cleaning. For sensor cleaning, you have to open this fold screw. Once you remove this cover, you will see a filter mesh type of filter is present. I try to change it. Uh, you can see here. Once you dismantle, you can change this to small filters. And one by one, you can remove all your four sensor. In my sens uh, detector unit, you will see four sensors are there. The fifth one is uh, just a cap. So remove the four sensor which are present and this is how the sensor looks like. Um, they are attached to a sensor, LEL, this is LEL sensor and you have oxygen sensor. So this is the place where all these sensor fit LEL, H2S, O2, volume and CO. So once you remove this sensor, try to clean it from the top and also the, its connection. Once you are done, try to box it up and start it. So once you start it, you should not get any alarm and you will have the proper reading. Do change with a new sensor if it gives fail alarm again. Hope you like the video. See you again. Till then, bye bye. Take care and thank you for watching.